<laughs> the day, urgency that it's in, because people just don't care no more. And so, when I say that I'm gonna retire, it's I, I feel just because I don't belong in this hip hop. I belong in like the old hip hop. I should have came up in hip hop, but like people that really didn't care about being vocal, you know, N.W.A. Um, my boy, my other partner, we go, uh, we shoot to the box to the mall, to the men's land, go find some shit to wear for the club that night. And we walking out, and guess who's walking in? The gang. I run up on, what's up? But he had a son with him, so I said, hey, hey, no, I said, my boy, no, come on, we just gonna bop, we out of here. Um, we gonna give you a pass this time, cause you with your son. A nigga like, pass, stall me out, pass. I said, no, as a matter of fact, said, we gonna stall you out, you with your son right now. Now stall me out. Then y'all can stall me out, nigga, what the fuck about my son being here? What if my son wasn't here? I don't give a fuck if it was the same thing. If Talking real high power shit. Whoa. Matter of fact, the real street takes a step back, puts his son down, Pull his pants up. Back, pulls his pants up and steps back to us to talk to us. So I'm like, okay, I'm still like kind of shocked. Like, he really turning it up like this? Yeah. I'm like, but come on, let's talk. Cause you know how niggas get when they by themselves. Come on. He's like, talk, talk right here. We talk we right talk here. Now. What's up? What's Fresh up? off the plane. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Niggas, niggas ain't gonna do shit to me, nigga. We just start shit out, nigga. You know, now while he's sitting there talking all that bra bra shit, I'm standing right in front of him. You feel me? In his face, looking at him like, yeah. yeah at him. Looking dead at him. You know, he just kept running his mouth, you feel me, talking that shit like, basically, I felt, I felt, you know what I'm saying, if I didn't knock blood out, right then and there, that blood was gonna go get on Twitter, Like he you do. feel me, like he do, cause he's a Twitter thug, you feel me, Twitter bug, whatever the fuck you wanna call that nigga, you know what I'm saying, well he was doing the jitter bug after I knocked his bitch ass out, <laughs> but uh, anyway, you know what I'm saying, that's a whole nother subject, but um, I felt like he probably would've went on Twitter, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I just ran in the iceberg and then his homeboys in men's land by myself. They don't want no funk. Just cause based on, you feel me, like... All this shit over a bitch, dog. I mean, really, over this bitch, dog. I was LeBron, you were supposed to be my rich Paul. Baby the Slim, when a nigga got rich, dog. But your love turned to hate, that's what we split. Over here driving down Slauson, man. Driving down Slauson, four in the morning, man. Cause I can't sleep behind what happened to Nip, man. Why niggas do the homie like that, man? At his own motherfucking stop. In his, in his own fucking hood, man. Just try to do good for niggas, man. Shit crazy, man. I can't even fucking sleep, man. I'm disgusted by this shit. That's how y'all do the homie? In his own city, in his own hood, his own place of business. That's how niggas do niggas, man. LA on some bullshit, homie, on me. I held Kim Kardashian by a throat, nigga. I made her swallow my kids until she choked, nigga. I should apologize, cause you ain't my folks, nigga. This for all them vice lords and folks, nigga. This for all my hound dog, nigga. I held Kim Kardashian by a throat, nigga. I made her swallow my kids until she choked, nigga. White Air Force Ones, niggas coming through the hood with them Air Force guns. We got more Drakes than the Billboard. Disrespect the nip type of shit you niggas get killed for. We not gonna stand for the disrespect. Get this 45 barrel pressed against your neck, and every time I lift a tech. I'm on here to address a situation that was um that been coming to my DM and my phone all morning about some bars I said yesterday on my live. Um, number one, I ain't mean no disrespect to uh, Indian Red Boy, uh, RIP, his family, anybody close to him, and definitely not the Inglewood families at all, or no blood set in LA or none of that shit. Um, not only am I, not only did I not mean no disrespect to them niggas, I don't mean no disrespect to no LA gangs, no Crips, no Bloods, no essays, none of that. It's my city. Um, shit, and I, uh, you know, I stand on my rag. I've been, nigga, I've been, I didn't took this pyro shit around the world. You know what I'm saying? I didn't been at it with Crips coming up in my career. I didn't been at it with the own, with my own homies sometimes and all that shit. Um, I ain't even too much know nothing about uh what happened to Blood or his whole situation. None of that. Definitely not to be speaking on it. Um, like I told some of the homies I had, nigga, I be right. I'm on here. I be having bars in my phone all the time. I had um. I had them bars in my shit, nigga, since like May, like April or May or some shit. 
it's just bad timing. And since it's bad timing, since it was bad timing and niggas feel away or niggas feel how they feel, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to rectify the situation right here. And I'm going to get with blood uh, family and uh, straighten it out whether I got to, you know, help uh, bury blood or put money on his funeral, do whatever, or do whatever I got to do. I already talked to Manchester from Inglewood family, talked to the homie Big Y, talked to WAC 100 and a few of the other homies um, who, you know, niggas understand what it is, but nigga got a platform and uh, it's supposed to be used, uh, you know, at a certain, it's supposed to be used a certain way, especially, uh, you know, at this point in the nigga life. Nigga 40 years old, nigga got to watch, you know, really watch what he say. Not that, uh, you know, everything a nigga say got to be, you know, censored. But niggas, you know, with the L.A. gangbang politics, niggas don't really even usually speak on that shit. So, you know, if uh, if if I spoke out of line, I got to be having bars in my phone. No, nigga, hella funerals. I didn't pay for hella funerals. Any nigga that know Chuck from Inglewood, um, Scheme, Joe Moses, uh, any nigga, any, any niggas that, uh, you know, L any L.A. You know, Bloods, nigga, Crips, anybody, nigga, that know me, nigga know what it is with me and know I stand on my word and you know like nigga niggas sometimes niggas you know just nigga make mistakes so you know that's my bad if anybody was offended I'm gonna rectify the situation like I said um I hollered at Manchester he gonna put me in touch with uh with uh little homie family and I'm gonna help you know um you know throw something in and help help bury the homie but um yeah man that's it just hopped on here to straighten that shit out you know what I'm saying it ain't it ain't uh, it ain't nothing but that. And like I said, I know the little I know the little niggas out there running wild and doing they shit. You know what I'm saying? Do y'all shit, homie. I know how it go. But um, as as a big homie, as a nigga that's 40 years old, as a nigga that been in this shit for a minute and know the gangbang politics and uh, you know and and just know this shit like the back of his hand, nigga. Niggas gotta really go, nigga. Hell of Watch their words and shit, especially when it's on and bracking out here. Cause uh, niggas is out in the streets and they acting, my niggas. So shit. Um, I'm gonna get back on my phone, hollering at who I gotta holler at, straighten this shit out. I'm gonna get with Blood Family, make that shit right, um, and help bury Blood. But that's it, man. All that extra shit niggas is doing in my DM and all that shit. That shit ain't nothing but smoke, my nigga. Like I said, nigga ain't mean to really disrespect nobody at all. That shit been in my phone for months. It's just bad timing. It is what it is, my nigga. I'ma holla at y'all. Be safe. One love. Boy, if you don't get. night before Nipsey Hussle's laid to rest, the game took it one step further than anybody else and got the rapper immortalized on his chest. The tattoo is in the center of the game's chest and features a picture of Nipsey from way back in the day when he was a young head. The game didn't stop there. He actually got a tattoo on his face that said prolific, which is the thing that Nipsey Hussle always preached. Recently, I for a few times because his DJ used to stay with me whenever they would come to Atlanta. So the game has started a new record label in honor of Nipsey to put his album out next month. His album, I mean Game's album. And Game is calling the record label prolific. I guess he's changing Black Wall Street to prolific. He is saying that this is his very last studio album also. Game posted that an album was coming out, but the post has since been deleted. Nip's closest homies were pissed because they were saying through IG, that Game was exploiting Nipsey's legacy. Game even has merch that says prolific. Let's be real people, people will be buying because of Nipsey. That would be the driving force behind sales. It's no secret that merch from the Marathon store is beyond back order. Getting something from the Marathon store is like showing up to Whole Foods, the buffet section near closing time. Good luck, Chuck. India began her infamous relationship with rapper The Game. Their relationship sparked major controversy as India was 18 and the game was 33. In late summer 2015, India was spotted out at the park with the game. Paparazzi caught very humiliating photos of the two engaging in some kind of activity. The photos made it to major blogs and it shattered India's reputation. So game got this picture up. It says, spent some of my wildest days on my block with the homies. I took Cedar around the world and back. Some stayed down all this time. Lost some to the streets and others to greed and jealousy. Shit be like this sometimes. 
That's West Side Bompton for you. And where I come from, you don't always get to live and learn. I hope that don't go over your heads. At Casanova Two Time Voice, RIP Little Frog, RIP Tay Dog, RIP G Man, 554 Ever. So, Game put this up on Instagram. His brother put up his own post on Instagram reacting. It says, This dude done more for the Crips than he ever for Cedar Block. Name a dude from the block that has you to thank for his success or even putting him in the path to it. When it comes to being what you, what and who you say you are and really being down for yours, I got two words for you. Hashtag Nipsey Hustle. No better yet, I got two letters for you. Hashtag YG. You not from Westside Bompton, bro. You just pulled up on me a few times growing up. This pick was taken at my young homie funeral service in life. He had to network with Nip to get his shit on. You shouldn't even speak on CBP or 554 or Bompton at all for that matter. So Big Face 100 taking issue with the fact that Game put this up on his Instagram and said what he said. His brother saying the game has done more for Crips than he ever did for their set. He also is saying that basically game is not from West Side of Compton, but he just pulled up on him a few times growing up. So the back and forth between game and his brother continues. Not sure if there will ever be any.